Hey guys, what's up? It's Jarek Huber. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the Jade Puzzles. So these puzzles came from the Jade Club, which is a, a club created by Yui Meffert. It costs $18 to join this club, and, only, and it, you can only join if you have an invitation from someone else. Each person is limited to three invitations. Um, these puzzles, when you sign up, you can either just sign up for the $18 fee, or you can add $18 to that original $18 fee and get these puzzles. And that's what I decided to do. These are the um, custom jade puzzles. They are, um, I'll just start with a 3x3. They have these designs printed on them. Uh, it's raised up, the pieces are raised up, and then the designs are, are like, painted on. Uh, the cube itself is actually transparent, and then there's just this outer coating of paint, so you have to be really careful with it to make sure it doesn't chip. But anyway, there's this sort of a design, this sort of a design on the cube, this sort of a design, this design, this design, this design, and this design. And the cube looks really, really amazing. It's really a collector's item. Another thing is that, um, the reason why it's a collector's item, I'll just say, is that only people through the Jade Club can get this. That's it. Only the people that really want to get them through the Jade Club get these. So I don't think there's that many in the world. Um, there's probably only about a couple hundred, <clears throat> I can imagine. So the cube is pretty rare. As for a size comparison, we'll compare it to a normal 3x3, and you can see how small it is. Um, I'd say it's about the size of a 50mm cube. It's about how small it is. The turning on this puzzle is not fantastic, um, but it doesn't have to be. The tensions are also very uneven, but the caps don't come off. Uh, this side is really loose, but this side is really stiff. But this cube is not something that is to be really solved. I've only solved it once, and that's just to say that I've solved every single cube in my collection. Um, but I'm not going to be scrambling it ever again. And that's the same case with the uh, Pyraminx. So, um, but anyway, this puzzle looks really great. It's a real collector's item, um, and something that looks great in your collection. Um, just to give you an idea of what the colors look like, I'll just do a checkerboard pattern. You can see it looks pretty nice. But anyway, that's the 3x3 three three version. Um, now let's move on to the Pyraminx version. This is not an, uh, a real Pyraminx, this is a Jinx Pyraminx. Um, this is what a Jinx Pyraminx looks like. And um, so this is just the Jade Puzzle version. What you do is you solve... It's, this is actually a skew mod. Um, these are the corners of the skew. These are the centers. And, um, I think these are the corners as well. Yep. So, um, yes, this turns on the corner, like this. Um, you saw, you actually don't really solve this one like a skew, you solve it like a Pyraminx. You solve these edges just like you would a Pyraminx, and then you have to deal with these centers, which is really quite simple. It's not that hard at all. Um, if any of you guys know how to solve a Master Pyraminx, then you know how to solve this one. But anyway, uh, this is the design that it has. It has the f four of the designs that this one has, but it doesn't have this one or this one. But it has this one, this one, this one, and this one. And the turning of this puzzle, it's not the best, but again, it doesn't have to be, because this is not a puzzle that's going to be solved. This is a puzzle for show, really, and a more to uh, put in your collection as a as a show item. Um, but you know, it's not horrible. The turning isn't horrible. It's it's just it's good enough to be usable, but it's not good enough to be like something that you're gonna want to solve often. Which you're not gonna want to, because at least at least I don't wanna have I don't want to solve this often because I don't want the paint to chip on these. Um, as you can see already on this three by three version, right here, the paint has chipped off a little bit. And that's actually the way it came out of the box. That, uh, I didn't do that. So, it must have gotten a little bit banged up in packaging, but it was completely wrapped in bubble wrap and sealed in a very tight box. So, 
I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But anyway, that's the only place where there's really a problem in the, um, the paint. This puzzle, it's a little bit bigger in your hands. It's not quite as small as this one. But yeah, that's that's really all I have to say on these on these two jade puzzles. There's not too much more to say. Um, all the information you need on the Jade Club can be found by using the link in the description. Also, I only have three invitations as a member, so don't ask in the description for memberships because I'm not going to be able to give everyone a membership. So that's really about it for my review of the jade puzzles. If you like this video, give it a like, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.